One of the most intense and pivotal battles of the Iraq War, the Battle of Fallujah, took place in 2004. This conflict, often referred to as the bloodiest battle for American forces since the Vietnam War, had significant implications for the war in Iraq and the broader fight against insurgency in the Middle East. Fallujah, a city located about 40 miles west of Baghdad, became a stronghold for insurgent forces following the 2003 U.S. invasion of Iraq. By early 2004, the city was under the control of a mix of Iraqi insurgents, foreign fighters, and Al-Qaeda militants. The situation escalated in March 2004, when four American contractors from the private security firm Blackwater were ambushed, killed, and their bodies mutilated. This gruesome incident shocked the world and prompted the U.S. military to take action. In April 2004, U.S. Marines launched Operation Vigilant Resolve, an effort to retake the city and eliminate the insurgents. However, the operation faced fierce resistance from well-entrenched fighters, and the resulting civilian casualties led to a public outcry both in Iraq and internationally. Under pressure, the U.S. military called off the assault after several weeks of heavy fighting, leaving the city largely under insurgent control. This withdrawal was seen as a victory for the insurgents and emboldened them, making Fallujah a symbol of resistance against the U.S. occupation. The situation in the city deteriorated further, with insurgents fortifying their positions and implementing strict Islamic law. Recognizing the strategic importance of Fallujah and the growing threat posed by the insurgents, U.S. and coalition forces prepared for a second, more decisive assault. Dubbed Operation Phantom Fury, or Operation Al-Fajr, meaning the dawn in Arabic, this offensive began in early November 2004. The battle involved intense urban warfare, with U.S. Marines, Army units, and British forces fighting street by street, house by house, to clear the city of insurgents. The insurgents, numbering around 3,000, had prepared elaborate defenses, including tunnels, booby traps, and fortified positions. Despite these challenges, the coalition forces, supported by heavy artillery, airstrikes, and armored vehicles, systematically cleared the city. The battle lasted for over a month and was characterized by brutal close-quarters combat. By late December, U.S. forces had secured the city, but at a high cost. Approximately 95 U.S. troops were killed, and hundreds more were wounded. Estimates of insurgent casualties ranged from 1,200 to 1,500, with many more captured or fleeing the city. The Second Battle of Fallujah was a turning point in the Iraq War. It effectively broke the back of the insurgency in Fallujah, but it also highlighted the challenges of urban warfare and the complex nature of the conflict in Iraq. The destruction in the city was Squad immense, out! with large parts of Fallujah reduced to rubble. The civilian population, which had mostly fled before the battle, faced Panther dire Squad conditions out! upon their return, with widespread devastation and limited access to basic services. The battle also had significant implications for the broader war on terror. It demonstrated the U.S. military's ability to conduct large-scale urban operations, but also underscored the difficulties of rebuilding and stabilizing a city after such intense combat. Fallujah became a symbol of both the ferocity of the insurgency and the resilience of U.S. and coalition forces. In conclusion, the Battle of Fallujah remains one of the most significant and brutal chapters of the Iraq War. It serves as a stark reminder of the complexities and costs of urban warfare, as well as the enduring challenges of counterinsurgency operations in modern conflicts.